So this may lead to a surgery. The problem in the womb. There is development. Yes, man of God. They may try to operate you to remove the thing. So you, you need prayer. Thank you, man of God. You need prayer, okay? Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, come on. <laughs> The name of Jesus Christ. Put the hand on the stomach. Thank you. You are free. On another encounter, this woman received another prophecy. Let us hear what the Spirit of God said. A man of God, I was sick last week, and then I went to see this doctor at Sidilek. So the doctor said that I have ovarian cyst. Uh -huh. So he put me for an operation and then I told him that I want to seek for another opinion. And then I went to see the second doctor, this one. He's saying that there is nothing. So now you are torn between ovarian cyst and no cyst. Yes, because men of God, I have... When I went to the hospital, mm. I had the abdominal pains, and this one is saying is the UTI, the you, the 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 you hurting uh, urine. Is it, is it on the left? The the, the major the, the 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 main one is is the side on on my right. The other one is on the left. Yes. So you don't know what is the issue, the cause. I, I don't know what was the cause, man. Of because God. one of the reports said you have, <laughs> another report said nothing. There is. You've got two developments. If you notice, the pain here is very, very intense. Very intense, man of God. Mm. Even if I, when I go to the toilet, my urine is very burning. So if it's very, whether it's burning, it's burning. whether mm. it's it, 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 it's small or it's more quantity, very burning. There is uh, something, you know, broccoli. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm seeing inside you. Formation is not red, but it's a little bit whitish. You see? And the truth is big, they is small. So all you need, you need deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, touch the stomach. Okay. Put the right hand. Oh, I'm going to put you. In the name of Jesus. Let's go. Oh, 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 Come on, press, press, press now. Don't worry. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This man of God, I need, man of God. It, it, this one is very intense and here. Mm. Right now, I cannot feel any pain. This is surgery room. Yes, I, I, was, I was booked for an operation on, on Thursday. They just did your operation now. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. So can a man of God, you gave me a, a prophecy. On the 12th, when the church was turning 12, uh -huh. you said that you saw me being operated. So now oh. the, the Lord Himself operated you. So press on the right one, right side. There's nothing, man of God, there's no pain thank at you. all. No, oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Good morning, church. My name is Johanna Malapo. I come from Mizumantabe, but staying in Kumakwan. Um, as we have seen in the clip, I received a prophetic message from the evil servant of God um, the day on which the church was turning 12 years. So he gave me a prophetic message saying that he seen me being operated. So I was so amazed because at that time I wasn't ill or I didn't feel any pains in my abdomen. So that was on a Sunday. 
And then on a Tuesday, that very first week after receiving the prophetic message, on Tuesday, I felt sick. The man of God highlighted that the, the, the cyst is on my left. So he specifically pointed on my left. So, but when I got sick, to my amazement, it started on the right. So I went to see the doctor on that Tuesday. And then when I got there, the doctor said that I have urinary tract infection. But I had severe abdominal pains. And he, he said he only sees urinary tract inf in infection. But that before I went to the, to the hospital, let me clarify that I had a, a burning urine. So when I, I, I go to the toilet to ease myself, my urine was very, very burning, itching. And the second thing, um, I noticed that I had uh, blood stains after urinating. So that's when I went to see the doctor. So he said that it's, there is nothing. So it's only the urinary tract infection. So he gave me medication. The medication eased the pains. So that was in October. So October f passed, and then in November, the pains came back now very, very severe. So now I decided to go to a different doctor. I went to Sidilek to see the doctor there. So he did the scan, and he told me that I have ovarian cyst. Um, he gave me three injections, so each injection costed 500 pula. So after the, 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 the injections, after finishing them, he did the scan again, and then he said that the, could he just wanted to ease the pain with the injections and the medication. So now he told me that uh, I'm supposed to go for, a, for an operation. I'm a teacher as a professional. So as a teacher, we are expected to be up and moving around all the time. So I should be moving around the class helping learners. Um, I should be writing. And at home, I'm expected to clean, either doing the washing and cleaning the yard, even the house. But all these things, I wasn't able to do them because I couldn't bend. And even to stand up for a very long time was a challenge for me. So I, was, I wasn't active at all at work and at home. After the doctor said that he is booking me for an operation, that is when I remembered the words of the man of God. And then on that very same day, I decided to go and see another doctor on that very same day that he wrote the report that I should go for an operation. So I went to, to, the, to see the other doctor for second opinion. And then this doctor, she stated that I'm clear. There are no cysts or anything. So the only thing that she can see is a UTI, urinary tract in, in infection. And then after seeing that doctor for, for a second opinion, and then I, I decided to, to come to church as a visitor. When I got here, uh, I was able to see the man of God, and then I told, he, I told him my situation. That man of God, I'm torn between two. The other doctor is saying I have a um, ovarian cyst, and the other one is, is saying there is nothing at all. So I have come to, for, God, to, to, for God's intervention to see what, what, what God is saying about my situation. And the able servant of God confirmed that indeed I have a cyst. And to my amazement, man of God showed on my left. So I also had a severe pain that side. But the doctor didn't mention the one on the left. He only mentioned the one on my right. And then the man of God prayed for me. Before he, he, he prayed for me, he, he, he also gave another prophetic message say that, saying that, yes, there's a cyst on your left. In fact, it's something like a, 
like a broccoli. You've got two developments. If you notice, the pain here is very, very intense. Very intense, man of God. Mm. Even if I, when I go to the toilet, my urine is very burning. So if it's very, whether it's burning, it's burning. Okay. whether mm. it's it, 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 it's small or it's more quantity, very burning. There is uh, uh, something, you know, broccoli. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm seeing inside you. Formation is not red but it's a little bit whitish, you see, and the two days big, they small. So, I knew that something was very wrong with me because of the pains that I was experiencing. So, in the midst of this, I, I, I would say that the, the doctors were confused because when others say there is something and then others say there's an ovarian sister when they were confused but the fact that god has pointed it god has talked about it about it that um i'm seeing you going through an operation i knew that really really something is wrong with me this god he never speaks amiss so my main fear was that i might be having cancer when i saw um stains of blood or oh, mm, the, the clots coming out. So I thought man of God will mention cancer. But he said, no, I'm seeing a development on your left and it's something like a broccoli. So the pains were very severe, people of God. I was going through a challenging time. Um, there were workshops at school. I wasn't able even to even able to attend the workshops because I couldn't sit for long, I couldn't stand for long, so the pains were very unbearable. So when the man of God started praying for me, I felt so much pain. So So it was something like house so the pain it was very very painful very painful so after a while after the man of god prayed for me i was now able to to press my my stomach there were no pains at all as i mentioned before um Unfortunately, the documents from the first doctor, I couldn't find them. So these are the second ones. I went to see the second doctor at Sidileha. So this is the injection that he gave me. So it costed 1,500, only three injections, 500 each. And then this is the, and then he recommended he, the, the medication. So and then this is the the report for so this is the report which showed that indeed i had an ovarian cyst it says ovarian cyst three by four centimeters and then the report which he wrote that i should go for an operation on the 7th of december 2020 2023 ovarian cyst so i was booked for operation to do it on the 7th and I asked him about uh, the, the payments, and this is what he said. So I would be paying this doctor before they can do anything. I was supposed to pay this amount, 7,000 pula, the anesthetist, 2,000 pula, and the hospital, 4.5. So I was, I was supposed to pay this man before they can do anything. And then on that very uh, same day, on the 7th, I went to see... The, 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 the other doctor for second opinion on, on the 30th. I went to see another doctor for second opinion. So she, ordered, she also mentioned that there are no ovarian cysts. She can only see a normal whole abdominal scan. So this is the... After the prayer, 
I went to see another doctor. This is the scan. The report says normal pelvic scan findings. Let us glorify Jesus with our hands. Louder for the miracle working God. As I stated before that, I'm a teacher by profession. Um, I wasn't productive at all at work. So I couldn't move around my class, helping my learners. I couldn't bend. Even to write on the chalkboard was a challenge for me. To clean at home, as a, as, as a woman, you have to clean your yard and your house. I couldn't do those things. But after the prayer, I am able to do them. Demonstrate the things that you couldn't do. You're welcome to press your stomach and bend to show us that indeed God has truly healed you. There is no pain at all. The severe one that was on my left when the man of God mentioned it, no longer, nothing at all. As you are bending like this, are you feeling in pain? No pain at all. Earlier on, you said because of the problem, you had severe abdominal pains. Every time you went to urinate, you were having a burning sensation and blood was coming out. What are the differences? Are you still seeing those things? Those are things of the past. I'm just normal. I'm passing fine urine. Um, people of God, the able servant of God just said a word which revealed my problems. So the word of encouragement I will say, just a word from God is able to change any situation. The God that we serve in this place is the God of the impossibilities. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> 